Hey, what is going on guys? Rudelanel here, coming back at you with some more Python tutorials, and you guessed it, we're still looking at GTK. Alright, now in the last video, we've been taking a look at how we can set the window to be in a certain position, how we can change the size of the window depending on like the window manager's permission, and that sort of thing. And actually, if you notice, we passed in some constants here to this function. And maybe that's not a good idea. Like, see we're using the literal values, the integers, to represent 320 and 240? What if we wanted to access that later on, and what if we kind of changed the size of the window? We'd probably want to set these two to be variables. And hey, we're pragmatic and pretty good programmers, right? So let's actually go ahead and set that up. I'm going to just say self.windowSize. That's going to be a tuple. I'm going to set this to window width and self.windowHeight. And those can both equal 320 and 240 just like we have here. Now actually, I'm going to save this uh, as a new file. I actually have one set up here, window title and button. I'm just going to overwrite that. I'm going to hit save. You guys should probably do the same. Keep track of the different kinds of, the different files and the different programs we're writing. So self.window width and self.window height. We can run this and there's our window. Okay. So as you guys have probably guessed by the file name, I'm going to introduce you guys how to set the window title and how to add a button, our first GTK entity, your little widget. So setting the title is really, really easy. It's, it's simple. All it is is a, a function in the window object. So self.window, and I'm sure you guys can guess this. This is so easy. Set title. <laughs> and we can call this anything. I'm going to call mine just GTK Python. Now if I run this, GTK Python, there's our title right there. Awesome. So, what we can do next, however, is we can add some widgets. We can go ahead and say, let's, let's add a button here. So self.button, that's going to be the variable that keeps track of the object for us. Actually, just so we can understand things, I'll call mine button object, because we're actually going to set this equal to GTK dot button. Now I'm using a capital letter here, capital letter to start that object. The same way that it works in window, that's usually how you're going to be creating most of the GTK widgets. And uh, boom, there it is. I mean, you just created a button. If I run this though, nothing's in our in our window. So how do we do this? Well, we're going to want to add it to our window, and our window is something that we call a container. And a container can only hold one child, or only one widget can actually be part of it. So the window in this case can only hold one object. And obviously if you know most programs, they have a lot more than just one button or one thing as part of, their, as part of the window, as part of the program. So we're going to have to get into, in a later tutorial, how to fix this. How we can use uh, more than one thing inside of the window. But for now, I just want to introduce to you guys the idea of a container and the idea of adding to a container. So it's very, very simple. We can just say self.window add. And if your object is a container, it's always going to be this add function right here. So I'm going to pass in our button object. Now down here, I'm sure you guys, it still says window.show if you're using um, the, the last tutorial that we wrote together. I had accidentally changed this and I forgot to, I forgot to fix it. You're going to want to use window.showAll because now that we have more than one thing as part of the window, we want to show everything. So your function should now be show underscore all to display everything as part of the window. I'll run this, and you can see we've got our title here, and if I move my mouse over the center of the window, you can see that it lights up, and I can hold down, and I can click. Like, this is a button right here. It doesn't say anything, it doesn't have anything part of it, but it is still a button. And that works exactly what we need it to. It's a very, very primitive and basic idea of what we're going to be getting into very, very soon, but right now we're going to start with the simple concepts of a GTK widget and actually adding it to a container, which is a different kind of GTK widget, and that sort of thing. So very, very soon, we're going to move into really cool topics of setting up a specific place on the window where the button can be, and actually setting up how we can sort of layer and put things in different areas of our window. So we've got a lot of good stuff coming on the way, but for now, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're enjoying the GTK tutorial series,
And if you are, maybe leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you're thinking. And if you're feeling generous, go ahead and subscribe. Alright, thanks guys, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.